Hi everybody, it is September 23rd, Friday. Just got back from the uh, doctor's office. Blood work and all kinds of stuff done, just uh, no problems, just a, a, a checkup. You know, I figured it was, it was due. <clears throat> a few more procedures yet to go, but uh, so far so good. Um, let me see. Um, it was it was fun doing Brett McKenzie yesterday, and a bunch of people said, do more, do more. So I'm going to do a few more today. But I also talked about Allie Willis yesterday, and I brought up the things that I got at that um, Canine Companions for Independence auction um, that uh, I, I just really love. The, you know, and I was amazed. I was watching people, like, buying different things, and these kind of just sat there, you know, going, these are, like, the coolest things that we had there. So here's here's the first one. This is great. This was handwritten by Paul Williams. We've only just begun one of his great songs. This is all in his handwriting and he signed it. I love this. I mean, I worked so much with Paul over the years and to, uh, to have a piece of his handwritten music is uh, Pretty amazing. And then here's the Ellie Willis, September. This is the, only the second time she's ever done this. The first time was for the Library of Congress uh, when they brought it in as one of the great American songs. And, um, and I pressured her into doing this for the auction, which didn't take much because she was a really such a great person and animal lover. And, so uh, it, it was really great to get this. And now I'm going to reframe this because this was framed for the auction. But uh, it's, uh, it's a little cheesy. But here, here we go. This is, if you can see, this is all in her handwriting. And there's the certificate for the Library of Congress. And there's my lovely Allie Willis. Uh, when she passed, it left a giant hole in, in this world because she was unique. So I'm going to frame it where it's four separate panels in a frame and each thing is, is properly mounted. So i got to get that down to a framer that uh, Blue, who I did the book with, said is wonderful in downtown Los Angeles. So I'm going to, when I get a moment, I'm going to be taking it down there and have them put it together. And I'll give a, put this in a place of prominence. Uh, in, in the house. And this thing that was sad was we, when we talked about this, she said, yeah, I'd never, never do this. And she said, but I, I said, well, I bought it. And she said, oh, I'll come, I can come over and visit, you know, I'd come over and see it. And then she passed away shortly after that. So every time I look at this, I think of my dear friend, Allie Willis. So I'm grateful that, uh, that I ended up with this. So l let me do a couple more Brett McKenzie songs here. Now, Brett, uh, if you don't know, I talked a bit about him yesterday. He's half of the group Flight of the Concords out of New Zealand. Um, we've done the Muppet movies together, and we've just finished our second album together. But this is the first album that we did. And uh, Brett is an amazingly talented, wonderful guy. We had so much fun in the studio. The band was great. Um, it got posted yesterday. Somebody put it in the comment section. They were they managed to find the basic rhythm section musicians. I should have written it down before starting this, um, but it did, he, he said it didn't. Uh, he couldn't find the horn section and stuff. I'll keep looking because I'll I'll, I'll spend a little more time with Brett because he's really uh, incredibly talented guy. So um, I think we finished with Dave's place yesterday. So. Um, here's one called Here For You. Now, we recorded this album at United Recorders down on Sunset in Hollywood, um, which uh, the thing that blew my mind is when, when I walk into the, uh, the main room there, the, the studio, I forget what they call it. It's either A or 1. Um, I think it's 1. All the studios have di different designations, and you kind of get confused after a while. Um, but walking in that room... Uh, Every time I work there blows my mind because that's the first recording studio I was ever in. And that was in 1967 when I was in the band group Therapy and Mike Post was producing us. 
and I looked, I sat on the couch <clears throat> looking through the window at the wrecking crew uh, because we were too inexperienced and young to play on our own record. So uh, it was all those brilliant players, from Al Capps and Tommy Tedesco and Dennis Budimir, um, Mike Dacey on guitar. Um, um, God, who is it? Jim Gordon on percussion, Hal Blaine on drums, Carol Kay on bass, Bobby West on upright bass, Mike Rubini, Mike Melvoin, and Larry Nechtel on keyboards. I mean, it was this amazing group of, of players, and I'm looking at that thinking to myself, God, I could, ne I could never do that. And by 1970, I was started working with those people on a daily basis, so it was a, a pretty interesting couple of years in there. But when I sit in that, every time I, and I worked a lot in there, that that's the same room where we just did Laurie Basilio's album. Uh, but I've done, you know, tons of records in that room. But every time I walk in, I get a, a rush from just the memories come back about being in that room in 67. So, so here's a song called Here For You. And this, again, is the great Brett McKenzie. Roxy Music-esque on there. Here's one called That's L.A. Let's see what his spin on L.A. is. 
Oh yeah, it's LA. Drive down the sunset and the tears roll down my face As the day goes by, I look the other way When the sun goes down, I'm drinking margaritas What's the problem, man? Don't call me your defeaters That's it I know she does have a pretty face Oh, really? I will take sound to send it straight to the sea I will watch the sunset sip in my ties at your Really great stuff. He's really, he's really a fun writer. All of these are a little different. I'll do one more here, you know, because maybe a little more tomorrow here. I'm really just enjoying hanging with Brett. Uh, this one's called Up in Smoke, not to be confused with Cheech and Chong. Um, and again, I love knowing the fact that uh, when I was in college and I was an art student and I had a friend, Richard, in painting classes, and we were talking one day, and he said, oh, a friend of mine and I were going to try to do a comedy act, see what we can come up with, and uh, he became Cheech, <laughs> uh, and uh, Tommy, and he got together, and next thing you know, you have, and you're kind of going, yeah, good luck, you know, cool, great idea. And next thing you know, you have Cheech and Chong, and they're one of the biggest acts in the world, so it's it's great, it's 
and could not be happier for the cat. Okay, here we go, up in smoke. <laughs> Reminds me, vibe-wise and everything. Oops, hold on. That'll be tomorrow. What, what do we got there? Um, I think that's called Carry On. There's a bunch. There's a whole bunch, so many good songs on this. But it reminds me that last one reminds me um, a little of Veronique Sanson. Some of the songs, just the mood and the piano on it and stuff is just very all of the uh, kind of stuff I was doing with Vero also. So um, so that's it, a nice nice quick little visit with with the great Brett McKenzie again here. And uh, I'm just looking down at Allie's smiling face, looking back at me and thinking about this, you know, the, the loss we suffered, but the uh, legacy we still have is uh, amazing. So I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful day. I'm going to get out of my dirty clothes into my rags and hit the yard again. I got so many projects going on right now that I just want to get as much done as I can. We've got the, uh, in a week, we're going to be up uh, in Woodstock doing the uh, Woodstock Film Festival, and we're going to be starting to show the Immediate Families movie. I can't 
wait. It's a pretty, pretty exciting moment here. So uh, have a great day today. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll be back over the weekend. And uh, just uh, sending my best wishes to everybody out there. Take good care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.